Welcome back to the Smoke Signals Model Train Series. I'm Cecil Schneider, and we're here today in the backyard of Wildcat resident John Hertzler to see his garden railroad. This is a departure of our past articles on the model railroads of Big Canoe, since all of those were smaller scales and located inside the houses. John's G-Scale Railroad is located in a relatively flat area in his backyard. John, please tell us how you got into model railroading and how you migrated to this outdoor railroad. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Cherokee Short Line Railroad. This is a fictitious branch of the Georgia Central. Um, started in 2003 and continuously uh, added on to uh, since then and still a work in progress. I got into uh, garden railroading as this is as this is called when we first came up here um, and a couple of factors influenced that. My previous house I had an end scale layout in the basement in a dedicated room. Scale on that is 1 to 150. When we came up here we didn't have the ability to have a dedicated room in the basement and then secondly, as you'll note, I wear glasses uh, and my vision has gradually deteriorated over the point where working uh, with that 1 to 150 scale, which is about that size, uh, was a challenge compared to what you see here on the Garden Railroad, which is 1 to 22.5. So it was a pretty easy decision. We had some help from a landscaper to come in and lay the rock for us. On the other side, uh, there is uh, the remains of an in-ground jacuzzi, which is now Lake Ruth. So as a result of that, um, we have a fairly flat surface. We've got two running waterfalls. We have some 16 buildings, all of which are uh, lit with LED lighting and uh, were basically hand-built during the process. And there are six locomotives here. Uh, three are diesel, uh, three are steam powered. Um, I say that the system is actually powered by electricity. It's a DD DCC system. However, the modeling is uh, after those two types of engines. Uh, the engineer, if he's during, will run three at the same time. Um, typically, two of those will be in a consist, as you see over here. Um, and then you'll have a single engine pulling uh, other cars. Hey folks, we're on our way from the north end of the layout, which measures some 25 by 150 feet. We've got the vantage point of our on-train camera, uh, so we're having a lot of fun with this one this morning. We are headed south out of Johnstown, uh, coming up to our uh, platform, and we'll be passing in through uh, Lake Ruth. And as we go through, we're going to pass first by the uh, other side of the tracks, kind of the seedier part of town. When we come back up the loop, we'll show you the better part of town. Right now, as we leave, we are approaching um, Ruth's Falls in the Lake Ruth proper. And as we cross the bridge, we're going to head down by the extreme south loop and past our newly built refinery from this year. Here we have our oil train now headed uh, to the south from uh, Johnstown and uh, it will be rolling through and um, here's a great vantage point folks I hope you are not sitting on the track uh, please get your car off the crossing this is an F7 unit with a B unit attached like I said it's the oil train and we're going to be approaching um, the second uh, loop this time. This will bring us back up behind the refinery that you saw earlier in the clip. And it's going to take us back north uh, through Lake Ruth, over the bridge as you can see. And we'll have the chance to uh, see the proper side of town as opposed to the seedier side over on your right. You've got your typical passenger platforms, stations supporting buildings, and by golly, we even have a church. And as you can see, this is a busy railway. We've got some oncoming traffic coming in here uh, today. 
We're now headed into Johnstown proper. BB and T Bank is on your right hand side. And we are pulling up to the uh, main station itself along with the passenger platform. Here is our oil train coming up uh, from the refinery along a trestle of 120 feet in length. Don't know who that guy is on the platform. I'm guessing that's our distinguished engineer of the day. Here's an overview of uh, Johnstown with its various buildings. Uh, those two diesels are prototypes, not a particular model, made by LGB. Uh, we'll have a lot more information on this for you in the print edition of Smoke Signals. Hope you enjoyed this and we appreciate you stopping by today. Thank you.